Dead Ringers, a stunning new Rachel Weisz series on Prime Video, is not for the timid. The gender-bending remake of David Cronenberg's groundbreaking 1988 film has gruesome childbirth sequences, unnerving psychological games, copious amounts of blood, and extremely bizarre twin situations. You're in for a real treat, though, if you don't mind seeing close-ups of C-sections, newborns crowning, bladders being poked, and miscarriages cradled at a mother's palm. Another genuine banger is Dead Ringers. Dead Ringers is a stunningly unnerving tour de force that explores complex issues such as classism, interdependence, addiction, and the appalling state of American healthcare. It's a psychological thriller that will genuinely prick you in the gut and stick with you for a long time. Furthermore, it served as the setting for two of Rachel Weisz's best performances throughout her career. Weisz gets to wrestle with herself in the role of identical gynecologist Elliot and Beverly Mantle. She may switch from being instinctive and wild in the same scene and cautious and reserved. Dead Ringers is a masterful examination of the true worth of a single life, as well as a triumph of perversion. Elliot's unstable and disobedient behavior returns to haunt her in the season finale, as Silas' sensational article is about to be published. For the sake of her profession and business, Beverly is compelled to publicly remove herself from Elliot. Beverly sees Elliot everywhere after rejecting her sister. She recognizes herself in the faces of strangers and in mirrors. Beverly can't live without her, and being apart from her is killing her. Rebecca congratulates Beverly on all of her accomplishments at the dinner. Beverly opened a successful birthing facility, and the clients have been quite complimentary. For all of her hard work, she will receive a prize. Beverly will give birth to twins shortly, and the lab is publishing research that will change the world. Beverly should be ecstatic, but she is obviously miserable and misses her sister terribly. Not all of the news is positive. Rebecca brings up Silas' article, which might end everyone at the table's professional lives. They refer to Elliot's long list of transgressions and scandals. Due to Elliot's surgical error, they were compelled to compensate Florence, and there are even murderous rumors. The majority of the allegations, which are often manageable, don't bother Rebecca, but the sheer volume disturbs her. Since they were unable to intimidate Silas or buy him money to keep quiet, they chose to support him. He was even given extra ammunition. Now Rebecca needs Beverly to kill Elliot and humiliate her in front of everyone. Before Beverly's award ceremony, she argues with Genevieve, who is packed for her business trip. Beverly, who is the actress agent, is in disbelief that she will actually go through with the four weeks of filming in Croatia. Silas, meantime, discovers Greta's exhibition of artwork. She used the stolen goods from the twins' apartment to complete her project. Beverly speaks during the award presentation. Elliot is sick, she claims, and her behavior cannot be disregarded. Elliot is destructive and abusive. At times, she has committed crimes. Beverly declares that the Mantle Parker Center won't be working with Elliot anymore. The drunk dumb challenges Beverly later. If Beverly hadn't abandoned her in the first place, in his opinion, she might have been able to save Elliot. Tom thinks Elliot did everything for Beverly and is in awe of her. She wasn't due this outcome. Greta's art exhibit achieves great success. Her mother passed very shortly after giving birth to Greta, it is revealed. The program explores childbirth and parenthood as part of a compelling theme. She feels more connected to her own father because to this episode. The following morning, Genevieve leaves for her trip, while Beverly keeps looking for her missing sister. Beverly eventually finds her at the labs. Beverly ultimately visits Elliot's research. Her two embryos now resemble almost complete infants. Beverly finds Elliot's art to be astounding. Beverly confides in her sister that she doesn't believe she will ever be able to experience true happiness. Although she feels she came quite close, Elliot is necessary for her happiness. Beverly talks about a boating excursion she took when she was 10 and how they became separated. Ellie, however, responds that this never happened. Nevertheless, it will play a role in the final scene. The sisters make the ultimate identity switch. In order for Elliot to be happy and free of Beverly's criminal past and public character, Beverly gives up her life. Elliot performs surgery on Beverly and extracts two healthy infants. She then returns to the birthing facility, where she begins to bleed out on the floor while dressed as Beverly performs an operation on herself. Meanwhile, Beverly bleeds out and dies in the lab. When Elliot awakens, Susan and Rebecca welcome her and let her know the babies are fine and secure. Elliot, posing as Beverly, claims that her sister assisted her with the procedure but has since left. In the series' final scene, Elliot is pictured in the park with Genevieve and their young children. 
Elliot is recognized by a passing stranger who engages her in conversation about the bereavement support group they both recently joined. Elliot, who is surprised to learn that Beverly had a hidden fantasy life in which she imagined herself dead, inquires about the specifics of the death. The mention of water by the stranger connects to a recollection Beverly had of the twins when they were 10 years old. After learning that her sister has died, Beverly decides to rejoin the group, perhaps to give herself time to mourn her loss or to maintain her good looks. 